morning, good afternoon, or good evening whenever you all <clears throat> are watching this video. I have not picked up a camera in a very long time, but today I was feeling very called to do so. Um, I have been on this up and down and consistent journey with my life, if you've been following me for the past couple of years. And for those who know me, and for those who don't know me, my name is Nevea, and I am currently, um, well, it's the summer now, but your girl is taking summer classes and I'll be finishing up my master's. And that's a whole another conversation for another day that I really wanna dive into when it comes to the battle between trying to obtain success, but while also figuring out who you are and being grounded in the person that you are um, holistically. But today would have been a perfect day to have no headphones, but the girl don't got no headphones. I am recording on my phone because I no longer have my vlogging camera anymore. So bear with me. I am currently on my walk, as you all seen. Um, and I listened to a audiobook today. I began into audiobooks. Um, I no longer have my Apple Music subscription anymore because Spotify have won over my heart. So I um, have been looking into Spotify. They have all of the audiobooks. They have podcasts on there and music. And then I've been discovering so many different like new artists. So that's been interesting. But um, yeah, so I started listening to Good Morning, um, an audiobook by Brianna West call out 101 essays that will change the way you think and I've been doing one chapter a day and I just started <laughs> literally also side note I do have braces I haven't had braces and then did my videos before so that's another but the um today was all about habits right and I wanted to record this because Thinking about life, thinking about, you know, trying to be the holistic and wholesome person that you want to be every single day. I think one of the most important things, and it's always been for me when it comes to besides consistency, is building healthy habits. And I read a book, um, Atomic Habits, and talked about like habit tracking and habit stacking and all of those things. And it didn't really dawn on to me until today when she was talking about how the most successful people have habits and they have routines and routines look different for everybody. I don't think, you know, there was a saying at one point in time, waking up early, the most successful people wake up early. In my opinion, that's false. Um, you don't have to wake up early before everybody wake up to start your day or whatever. You know, your routine looks different. And she was talking about you can have a routine of going out the country. I'm out of breath, y'all, because clearly I'm out of shape. <laughs> but she was talking about how you can go out the country once a month, and that's your routine. If you're writing a book, you develop a habit, you want to finish a book in a certain amount of time, so you're going to write three pages every single night, you know? And I think all of that stuff is super, super important. And I've been trying to develop my own habits and my own routines for the longest. And I think one of the biggest roadblocks in my life has been this idea of success and this idea of like routine and a consistent routine at that. You know, consistency is the one that um, governs routine and habit because a routine and a habit is something that you do consistently. Um, it don't have to be the same time every day. It doesn't have to be the same day. But it's still something that you do consistently, you know. And I think that has been one of the most difficult things in my life. Is being consistent with myself. And I told myself, you know, I want to become consistent. I'm not being consistent with myself. And due to me not being consistent with myself, I'm not being very fulfilled and have a purposeful day, you know, every single day. And um, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about how 
you know, at the end of the day, think about three things that brought you joy. And sometimes it was difficult for me to think about the three things that I was joyful. You know, I always thought about all of the things that were negative or all of the things that didn't bring me joy. Um, I've been very irritable these past couple of months for a very long time and thinking about what that joy looked like for me. And I had to really sit with myself and just think about all of the things that are around me, you know, being present in the moment, um, even a simple compliment, even a simple, you know, seeing one day I was on a walk and I saw a baby turtle, you know, I stopped and literally recorded the turtle. I was trying to help it get off of the trail, just people walking and running. Um, I just want to see it be successful. And that day that brought me joy. You know, I, I was literally finishing my walk and I saw it. And, you know, to each his own, joy looks different for everybody. But I think one of the biggest lessons I'm starting to learn is to become more present every single day so that I can figure out what those things are that brought me joy. Good morning. Um, I think that is one of the most important things that I'm learning is joy has, doesn't have to be this most extravagant thing. It doesn't have to be, oh, you know, I got a raise at work or my professor gave me an A or my mom or person gave me money or bought me a car or did this or whatever. Joy could simply be, you know, I didn't have an anxiety attack today. I ate five times today, three big meals, two snacks. You know, I was able to go take a walk today. I was able to meditate. I had absolutely to take 30 minutes by myself and just sit with my feelings. That is what joy should be. The things that truly fulfill you and fulfill the person that you are, I think is the most important thing that we should appreciate and be grateful for. And I'm speaking to myself because these are things that I've realized within myself, but I've been ignoring it. You know, you ever been like, you know your thinking process, you know what you're capable of doing, you know the type of thinking um, that you have. I said thinking process already. Um, you know, you just literally know. You know you, you know the, your, your brain power, you know the power of your words and everything. And sometimes you just ignore your feelings, your emotions. You say things that are the opposite of what you truly are feeling. That's ignoring, that's being avoided. And I have a very avoided personality and I'm learning to break out of that because it's not okay. Um, it's not okay to continue to have this avoided personality of everything, of life, of people, of situations, not learning how to be in a moment because I want to ignore everything that's happening around me. Like all of that stuff is unhealthy and it creates things that are not joyful in your life because it brings in regret. It brings in things that you wish you would have, have said or you would have spoken up about or things you wish you shouldn't have said or thought, you know? So your girl's out of breath. Bad. Talking a walking is not the, not the game. I don't know. I just think life. <laughs> life is just beautiful. And I want to come on here to just let y'all know. I'm living in my purpose. And I've been living the life that I've always wanted to live for the past four to five years since I've moved from my hometown. And just look, y'all, look where I'm at. It's a little waterfall right over there. I'm gonna take y'all over there. Life is beautiful. <laughs> like, that's all I can say. Life is beautiful. Sometimes I think we take it for granted with everything that's going on. Um, thinking about success, thinking about how much money we want, how many people we want to please. All that stuff does not matter. It should come secondary. You know, you should be the person you're pleasing. You should come first before anybody. 
your happiness and your peace. Since I've moved, since I've been on this journey of living alone in my 20s <laughs> and slowly but surely getting to know myself as the days go by, the things that I enjoy doing, the things that I definitely don't enjoy doing, it's been wonderful. And I have not been complaining about one thing. I think one of the things I'm just trying to tap into is myself and slow me down. Um, the, the world moves so fast and so many things happen every single day. And sometimes it's difficult to be in a present moment, which is another thing that I'm battling. But if we don't be present, we miss out on the most amazing things of life. And today the sun is out. <laughs> it's a little cloudy, but the sun is out and it's shining. And it's only 8.30 in the morning. And these are one of, this is one of the habits and routines I'm trying to keep myself consistent on is going outside in that first hour I wake up, eating my breakfast, doing my facial routine, slowing down a little bit and going outside. Support. Moving your body, no matter what movement looks like to you. Talking to yourself like I'm doing now, my little diary to y'all. Um, and I just got on here today just because I've been off YouTube for a while because I've been so stuck in this comparison um, journey. Not even, I don't even call it journey. This like, this this thing of comparison with other content creators and trying to wake up and look my best every day and throw on some makeup and do my hair and not show up as my authentic self. I have been, I was showing up as my authentic self, but I think a lot of things I was just adding glamour to, and it wasn't really me. It wasn't. And I'm just learning how to become me every day, like showing up as Nevaeh. Who do I want to be? It's not about who I want people to see me as. I can care less about that, because that, that was, what was going on in my head is, what if they don't like the content I put out? What if they don't like me saying this? And none of that matters, you know? Your supporters are gonna be your supporters. The people who are gonna love you are gonna be the people who are gonna stick with you through thick and thin. My tattoos say thick and thin. <laughs> and I think one of the beautiful gifts that God gave me was to just be me. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy, y'all. But was to just be me. Look at the birds. Uh, I'm excited for this transition. I'm excited to create, recreate. I'm excited for y'all to get to know who I truly am and not who I want y'all to know me as. Y'all, 75 degrees at 8 o'clock. It's going to be 90 degrees in Ohio <laughs> today. 93 at that. But I just want to leave y'all with go out, enjoy nature. 
go give somebody a compliment go hug your friends go hug your parents your family um just do something that fills your cup stop letting people take from you stop filling other people's cup up and draining yourself in order to fill other people's cup up your cup gotta be filled how are you gonna do that when you have nothing left to give enjoy life as it comes you know stop trying to change things and change your circumstances and outcomes of things and just let things just be and you just be just be like just be a being in life i think that it really can be difficult it really can but i'm excited to take y'all on this journey <sighs> And thank you all for listening to me rant, picking up the camera out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm just talking to y'all. Thank you. And I hope y'all enjoyed my little walk with y'all. And I hope to see y'all on another video. Have a great and amazing day, wherever in the world you are, at whatever point you are in your life. Continue to embrace you, embrace what life has to offer to you, and continue to be your most amazing, awesome, and authentic self. Mm -hmm.